Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, Aries? It's your girl, Tasha, Unstoppable. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to comment and share my channel as well. This message will be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. If the reading does not resonate with you, please just watch your other signs, okay? There's uh, online tools that you can utilize to uh, check your other signs. It's completely free, okay? Uh, just keep an open mind. This is not a personal reading. This is a collective reading for Aries. All right. So I want to get right into it. I feel like for some of you at this time, you're going to be, uh, you know, making a, a new move. You're going on to a new direction in life. For some of you, there's someone who wants to come back. that wants to offer you their love. I'm getting a uh, love of a lifetime. It's like something you've already um, manifested, something you've always wanted. OK, but be careful with people uh, coming towards you. Some people are just being very deceptive because they're jealous. OK, but uh, some of you are going to be walking away. You're going to be getting divorced and some of you will be getting married as well. OK, but we're going to get right into it here. Okay, so we have fulfillment. All right, so you're definitely going to be achieving those dreams and those goals. Okay, but some of you are really wishing to do something new, something creative that you're always or always have thought about doing. Okay, um, but you're going to be optimistic when it comes to your achievements. You're going to be satisfying those goals, those desires. Some of you want to rush in quickly and, uh, you know, you it's like you want happiness at the end of the day. You want you desire uh, to uh, be able to achieve uh, whatever it is that you manifest. But I'm getting you can do this. But for some of you, you have a lack, a lack mindset to where you may think. You don't have enough or, you know, you don't make enough or, you know, you're not creative enough. I'm getting you are. There are things that you can, you know, uh, do to train yourself. OK, don't just sit and uh, dwell in, in sorrow and be like, well, I can't do this because I don't have this or I can't do this because uh, I, I don't feel like I'm smart enough or I, I don't feel like um, I'm creative enough. You are OK, but you have to train yourself to look into other things and new creative ideas. OK, you can't just sit there and pray and manifest without making any action. OK, so you have to be able to make that action. But for some of you, you really are go getters. OK, you're willing. So I know an Aries right now who has a hair business and it's a male. OK. He's selling it at the trunk of his car. He doesn't have any business cards. He doesn't have a website. He's not known. It's just he travels on foot or in his vehicle and he goes into these places, into these businesses. Uh, some of them are like um, barbershops, um, uh, cosmetology, uh, salons. He goes in there and he'd be like, hey, does anybody want to buy any hair? And that's how he's able to... Uh, sell his hair and he's doing very well in it. Okay. Uh, but we also have the moon. So there's some kind of deception coming towards you when it comes to your finances, but people see you as someone who's very giving, very generous. Uh, some of you could be giving back or donating to charity as well. Also, um, some of you will be finding a new job, okay? But there's some kind of deception probably in a workplace. Uh, someone is going to be seeing you as someone who's uh, like you have a aura around you that's really bright, very giving, very loving. You're able to make friends, okay? But be careful uh, when it comes to your intuition. But you may be feeling like there's something closed off or some kind of information that you need that you're missing out on. Okay, but like I say, just be careful when it comes to uh, people admiring you, okay? Because everybody that's happy around you, not necessarily happy, they could be a wolf in sheep clothing, okay? Because some people know how to put on a front like they're happy for you, but at the end of the day, they seek your uh, downfall, okay? Uh, some of you may be having some kind of fear when it comes to creating and when it comes to your desires and your wishes. You may be feeling like the dream that you've always had, that you're not able to conquer that dream. OK, but at the end of the day, you're going to be OK, but you have to have faith and you have to uh, keep praying and meditate to your God or whoever that is. But you have to have faith. You can't uh, have uh 
say that you want to do something and I'm going to do something, but then when it doesn't come at the time that you want it to, you step back or you decide not to do it anymore. Okay. For some of you, business may be going slow, but it's going to pick up, but you have to keep striving, keep believing in yourself. Okay. Because at the end of the day, like I say, you can manifest and create whatever it is that you want to. Okay. But there's someone, like I say, with the uh, hangman, you may be feeling like there's a compromise that you have to make or some kind of sacrifice, but you're going to have to sacrifice those things that no longer serve you. People that are in the past, people who are toxic, who are negative, you need to let them go because this is what's making you not be able to move forward in life. Okay. Some of you are thinking about a new move, uh, a new creative idea to make. You may not be seeing it very clearly. You may be feeling like there's too many options or too many um, different things in a way. Uh, you may be having a lot of directions, a lot of responsibilities on your plate at this time. But we have a devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. There's someone who's stuck on you that doesn't want to let you go. Okay. But for some of you, you're uh, you're creating this resistance to change. OK, and you may feel like what you're used to, what you become norm to, that this is your life, that this is it. OK, I'm comfortable where I am. I don't want to do anything else. But it's like if you want to wish and you want to make, uh, you know, you want to be fulfilled in life, you have to be able to step out into uh, something that's different, but you're going to have to be able to step out into something that you've never done before. Okay. If you want to move forward. Okay. Everybody make mistakes. Okay. But it's, it's meant for you to learn from your mistakes and move forward and keep going. Okay. Don't let fear, uh, stop you. Okay. But some of you, uh, may be having some kind of addictions or dealing with someone who has a lot of addictions. It's a uh, person could be very toxic. They don't want to let you go. Okay. But it's like at the end of the day, um, you may be feeling like you're stuck in the situation and you don't want to lose. Okay. It could be your job. It could be a relationship. Okay. Or your business or whatever, but it's like, you're trying to delay the inevitable. Okay. It's all right. If that mistake comes, learn from it and keep going. All right. Some of you, the number 51, 15, also six as well could be significant to you. Okay. So harmony, stability. You're going to be stable at the end of the day, or you may already be stable, or you may just feel like you're not stable enough. Okay. But there's something about a family dynamic here. You may be feeling like there's a lack of money when it comes to your wishes and your dreams with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Don't let the opportunities pass you by. If you're presented with something new, you know, it's okay to step out into the uh, something that's not normal for you, okay? Because it's like you, it's like, okay, uh, if I step out and do this and I got to put more money into this or uh, I have to change this, I have to change my hours, I have to do this, I have to do that. Like I say, you do have a lot of responsibilities, but if it's something that you really want to do, then go ahead and do it. And we also have, uh, yeah, this is the uh, 10 of swords in reverse. So I feel like at the end of the day, you're going to be learning from those past hardships. But it's like you've been through the storm, okay? You've weathered the storm, okay? And, and, and you've been there and you've done that. You know how it is to be at the bottom and try to rise to the top, okay? And it's and you know that it was hard work. You put in a lot of hard work and effort to get where you are today, okay? But if you know how it was, then you know how to get out of it, okay? If you've done it before, you can do it again. OK, all you got to do is pick yourself back up. All right. But you're going to be releasing those chains, those those chains that are surrounding you with the devil. OK, you may be feeling like you're chained to a situation that you can't get out of. It could be your money. It could be your business. It could be your career. OK, but you may just feel like you don't have a lot of money at this time. And there is someone who wants to come towards you quickly regarding what spirit 
there's someone who wants to come towards you. This person could have been juggling you. OK, you might have had some kind of disagreement with this person. You and this person might have had fallen out. But at the end of the day, they want to come towards you. Um, I feel like this person is looking back at you. They want to they want to grow with you. They want to be with you. But it's at, at the same time, this person juggle you. And for some of you, you're going to be walking away. But you still have this person on your mind. They're still in your energy. OK, but we have temperance. You can be dealing with the Sagittarius, but you're going to be patient when it comes to your goals and your achievements. OK, you, it's like you don't want to rush into anything. For some of you, you do. Yes. But learning to be patient. OK, when it comes to love, when it comes to money, when it comes to anything, but some of you could be having some kind of anxiety. But this person is up at night thinking about you. Um, I feel like this person saw you as the son, someone that they could build with, that they could grow with. But for some of you, you're going to be having a child or this person is going to come towards you with some kind of news that they that they're pregnant or they want to get you pregnant. I'm not exactly sure. So someone could have been juggling you, but they got somebody else pregnant and this is keeping you up at night, giving you a lot of anxiety or this person, they see you as the son that they can grow with, they can build, build with, someone that they want to have a family with. But this person, like I say, they, they might have been juggling you, but you may be juggling two different people, two different options at this time. Okay. Yeah, uh huh. So I feel like with the uh, Page of Cups, this person has gained the, gained the clarity and the insight of who you are and what you mean to them. So now they want to come in. This person could be someone who's very childlike, uh, someone who's very fun and youthful to be around. This person could be younger than you. Okay, uh, there's some kind of age difference here. But yeah, uh, for some of you, you you're very psychic, very intuitive, and you know. Um, you may be listening to your inner thoughts, your, your inner wisdom, but there's some kind of happy news that I feel like this person wants to come towards you and offer you happiness and love and stability in life. Okay. But with the nine of swords, I feel like this person is up at night. Some of you may be having some kind of problem with anxiety or sleeping. You may be overworking yourself at this time. Okay. So we have the seven of cups. So yeah, some of you could be, you know, having a lot of options. There may be something in this connection that you're very dissatisfied with, with the four of cups. So uh, for some of you, you may be presented with an offer and you may like someone better than the other. You may, um, like I say, you could have a lot of options or this person could, but you're going to have multiple possibilities in uh, different um uh, things that you could choose from, especially when it comes to opportunities. Okay. Picking and choosing your decisions. So, you know, there's some kind of illusion or some kind of fantasy that you're not seeing, seeing very clearly. Okay. But you're going to have to go within to make the right decision. Don't make the wrong decision because this can be something that's going to cause you a lot of regret, a lot of sorrow, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. Okay. Some of you could be having something going on with your mental as well. You could be going to therapy or you might be a therapist. But with the musician card, like I say, uh, you know, you have the gift of God. You're able to manifest your life. OK, you're able to um, visualize and um, you're able to visualize and move towards those goals okay but like i say uh you may feel like you don't have the gift you may feel like uh at sometimes you can and then at sometimes you can't so it's like you kind of give up and it's kind of like you may be uh like doubt yourself a lot i feel like you doubt your intuition sometimes you may feel like uh you know whatever it is that you say or you think isn't right but like I say, you're very psychic, you're very powerful, and you're able to create and change your direction in life, whatever you want to do. But like I say, you have that uh, that lack mindset at times, and it creates a lot of uh, 
Uh, I feel like a lot of old wounds start coming up, things from your past, the way you used to be, how you were at one point and how you are today. You may feel like that you were someone who was able to change very quickly uh, when it comes to your life and your goals and your achievement. You were, you were on top of your game, but you may feel like you're not right now. You may feel like you're stuck in a situation. But with the Queen of Pentacles at the end of the day, you're someone who's very nurturing, very kind, very loving, very giving. Uh, people really admire you. They look up to you. You're able to give good advice. Okay. You may be like a social butterfly, like talking to people as well. You can be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. All right. Uh, so, yeah, so with the page of ones, there's some kind of good news coming towards you. Could be a new job, a new lover, someone that's very young, playful, someone that you get along with. Yeah, but with the, uh, the high priestess in reverse, this person can be kind of tricky, cunning, uh, you know, very manipulative. And I feel like you're isolated from this person, okay? With the Eight of Swords, yeah, you may be feeling very tra very trapped, very restricted in this relationship, okay? I feel like this person, but, you know, someone that you were, you know, you may feel like this was the person for you with the Lover's card. Uh, this could be a Gemini. But there's some kind of major choice in love, okay? So... Yeah, this person wants to come back. They want to apologize to you. They want to offer you something. This person could be someone from your childhood, Aries. But you're going to be walking away. Okay? Yeah. With the Eight of Cups, you're going to be walking away. You're going to be moving on. Okay? This is a relationship. Like I say... You and this person really loved each other, okay? Y'all were one of the same. Y'all got along. They were very playful, okay? Uh, someone very young that you really admired. But you're going to be closing out those situations that no longer serve you, okay? You don't have time for the bullshit, okay? It's like, go on, move on. Bye, Shanene. Bye, bye Felicia. Bye, Ezell. Bye, Debo, okay? I don't want to have nothing to do with you. I'm focusing on my life and my stability at this time, Okay? So let's see what this person has to say to you. For some of you, this, like I say, this person is wanting to get you pregnant or they have a relationship or some kind of baby on the way or you could. And this is going to make you upset because you might have been dating somebody else or dealing with somebody else and now this person is pregnant. Okay, I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Okay, that's what this person is saying. I feel you. Okay, so I feel like I feel you is about them thinking about you. Okay, you may be feeling this person's energy. Okay, but this card flipped up. So you are the person of my dreams. Okay. Some of you could be having problems with your allergies. Or uh, something about your congestion. You may be feeling very congested. It, this is the end. Yeah, so this person knows. It's like they see that this is the end. But now they want to move towards you. They want to come towards you because you left them out in the cold. You moved away. You walked away from this relationship. Okay. I'm afraid of commitment. So this problem, this person's problem was that they were dealing with someone else. Okay. Because why else would they be afraid of commitment? Okay. You're a whole catch and they know this. So now they want to come back towards you because they realize you were the one for them. Okay. You, you probably given this person money. You were generous to this person. You were nice to this person, caring, loving everything. Okay. 
like a dream come true to this person. So now they want to come back. They want to apologize to you, but they got some kind of trickery going on in the background. It's probably because they got somebody pregnant. Okay. Somebody that they don't want to be with. I'm getting, this could have been a one night stand. Okay. But for some of you, there's going to be a one night stand connection that's going to come towards you. And it could be with the Sagittarius because this is not the person that you want to be with. I'm getting for some of you, this could be a Virgo or a Capricorn or Earth sign, heavy earth that wants to come towards you and build with you. Yeah, and we have temperance again in the page of cups. So yeah, this is this connection. You're dealing with two connections, okay? Possibly someone that wants to come back and someone new that wants to come in that's not gonna last long. This person only wants you for your uh -uh, okay? For the poo nanny, all right. That's all they want from you. For that one, that's what they want. This person is not here for a long time. This is, uh, you know, someone that's in and out, in and out. Okay, this is a sex-based relationship, possibly, like I say, with the Taurus. Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Okay, so yeah, you're going to be chasing your dreams and your careers at, at this time. You can be doing with a Virgo, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Air, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But yeah, you're going to be moving on. You're going to be selling on to <laughs> same cars. So the wish card is here. You're going to be chasing after your dreams and your wishes and your desires. Okay. Conquering, well, uh, leaving them out in the cold and moving on with your life because you recognize the truth of what it is. You know, you recognize this person for who they were. Okay. So now you don't want to have nothing to do with them. You're leaving them out in the cold and you're going to be chasing your dreams and your desires for right now. Your money is everything. Okay. Like I say, you could be working very hard, but there is a message coming towards you. This person wants to start a family with you. They don't want to let you go. Okay. And this person is having a tower moment in their own home. They see you as a wish someone that they really want to conquer with but they're coming in quickly this person could live at a distance from you okay an emperor okay this person has been watching you they admire you they know who you are but this is aries as well okay so like i said at the end of the day you know you have the intuition you have the insight you know what you want to do in life but for some you could be leaving people out in the cold moving forward in life but you're going to be dismantling and rebuilding yourself rebuilding your life re rebuilding your home rebuilding everything but for some of you this person wants to come in and rebuild with you because you are the love of their life okay they admire you they think you're beautiful handsome some of you have really beautiful eyes out there Okay, this person with the seven of ones may feel like they have to compete with you. Okay, but you're 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 gonna stand in your defense. Okay, and you're gonna check this mode. Okay, what are you here for? What do you want? What do you desire? What kind of relationship do you want to be in? Because if you come in talking about <laughs> you want to sleep with me, you better call Tyrone. Okay. <laughs> buy scrub because I don't want to have I don't, I'm not going to take care of you I've already taken care of myself I'm not going to come in and take care of a little boy or a little girl okay you need your own job you need your own place you need your own car okay because you're not going to be driving my car you're not going to think you're going to just move up in my place and eat all my shit, okay I pay the bills at my own house I'm not taking care of nobody else okay I've done it before I'm not doing it again Bye, Felicia. Bye, Ezell. Bye. Okay. But for some of you, this person was married. You can be dealing with someone who's married. You could also be dealing with someone who's in the law field as well, justice field. This person could be very famous. Someone really people that really admire them, but they are very good with their money. Uh, okay. Some of you also very good with your money as well. Okay. You're trying to hold on tightly. You're trying to build your savings, or you are. You could be dealing with a cancer. Okay. But any enemies that's trying to seek your downfall, okay, <laughs> they better check themselves before they wreck themselves, okay? Because they finna wreck themselves real bad when it comes to you, okay? And you're going to be putting people in their place. And you're not afraid to tell someone what you deserve and what and what you want and, what, and, and who you are, okay? But for some of you, there's someone that's coming in that's going to be <laughs> very controlling, okay? You may or may not like this, but I feel like this person is going to stand up for you. They're not going to let anyone, uh, you know, um, 
bad mouth you, talk to you any kind of way. They're going to be putting people in their place. Hey, that's my man. Okay. Bag on up before you get the fuck up. Okay. And, f- and for the men, they're going to be like, wait a minute, who you talking about? You talking about my wife? You talking about my man? You talk, you talking about, you talking about my girl? No. Okay. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, boo boo. All right. This person is going to stand up for you. They're not going to let anyone treat you bad, talk about you bad. For some of you, this person may be very vocal. They know how to give a good tongue lash. Okay. And you do too. All right. But you may like this, boo boo. You might like, you might like somebody that stand up for you. I know that I would. Okay. If we're in a situation and, and, and we both just looking crazy at each other because we can't talk to uh, for ourselves, then what are we doing here? Okay? You need somebody that's going to stand up for you, a ride or die person. Okay? And this person, this emperor that's coming in is a ride or die person. This person is for you and, and for nobody else but you. And they realize this This could be someone from the past, some from, someone from your childhood, okay, that's really dreaming about you, thinking about you, that wants to rush in. Okay, for some of you, they're going to be popping up at your home. They're going to be messaging you online or sending you a text message. Some of you are going to be really recognizing your community, like I said. Uh, But like I said, this person could be someone who's very popular, very famous. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Yeah, and, you know, like I say, this person could be someone that kind of hurt your feelings, okay? And I, I'm not seeing it as in, like, they just going to talk to you any kind of way. They just going to tell you, you know, when you're wrong, you know, they going to tell you that, that you're wrong, okay? That may be how this person is. Hey, babe, look. Look at here, babe. Now, you did this yesterday. Now, then don't do it today, all right? Because that really embarrassed me. They may be somebody who's, you know, you know, like I say, they they speak for what they believe in, but they may be someone who's very observant. They don't do a whole lot of talking, okay? They may be just kind of, uh, I feel like money is their way of showing that they care about you. They may not necessarily say it a whole lot, but they say it by showing you. So action by actions, by giving, okay? This person's love language is to give, but observing. So you could be observing someone as well, but pronghorns are ancient mammals from the Palestinian area, okay? Inhibiting North America long before humans. This is the time to observe a situation without being pulled into engaging or reacting to the drama. So let it be, all right? So... Choose your own creative energy and everything, no matter what, okay? But don't let anybody drag you down. Don't let rumors. Someone's going to be coming towards you, spreading rumors or saying, hey, I heard something about you. I heard this. Don't give into it, okay? Laugh and keep it moving, all right? Because at the end of the day, there's people who's watching you. They want to be like you. They admire you, but yet they say trashy stuff to you. Okay, don't let these people get under your skin. But we have ancestors. Ancestors, your ancestors are watching over you. They're guiding you. For some of you, they're trying to communicate with you as well. But you may not be into this kind of thing. Okay, but I'm getting, you know, like I say, you're very well protected. But we owe our very existence to those who have come before us. If not for our fierce grandmothers and compassionate grandfathers, our ancestral lines would have died out. Okay, um, learn from the success as well as the failures of your ancestors. But, you know, I feel like at the end of the day, your ancestors want you to get up. They want you to keep going. They want you to keep striving and keep believing in yourself and continue that legacy that they have already built. Okay, or they already, you know, pass on to you. Okay, we have wisdom. Okay, so wisdom is a result of experience. Use this time to consult with someone that has the knowledge you seek. Listen with respect when giving advice, even if it doesn't resonate with you at the time. Okay, 
the advice may be beneficial later on. Now, I just said that in the uh, beginning of my story. You know, if I don't resonate with you, like I say, it could be something that's going to happen in the future. But for some of you may feel like uh, people don't know what they're talking about or people trying to give you advice. You're kind of like, you know, brushing it off. OK, but especially if it's someone older, I feel like this person, this emperor here, I feel like this person has a lot of wisdom as well. This person could be like you. This person is someone who dresses very nice. They look very nice. OK, as well. But we also have kindness here. OK, the harmless gatter snake is an important part of the ecosystem. Unfortunately, society's baseless fear of snakes can result in mistreatment. Is there someone or something that you are being unkind to based on a fear of assumptions and our miscommunication? Also, the last card we have is transformation. So right now with the snake and the, uh, this, this snake, which is kindness. Okay. But I do look at the snake itself, the actual image. Okay. You're transform transforming yourself. The devil is alive. And we're going to get it out. You're transforming yourself. Okay. You're, uh, you, you know, you're, um, getting rid of those uh, past pains, past hurts, but it's like you're trying to move away from negative things and toxic people, toxic ways, toxic behaviors, whatever, okay? But you're going to be transforming your life, doing something new, doing something that you've never done before. Very big, very great, and people are really admiring you, but they're watching you at the same time. But for some of you, you do have a snake around you, okay? Take it how it resonates. That's watching you as well. You need to be very careful, but don't tell everybody your business. But we have like the psychotic, we go through many transformations in our life. A dramatic change in the form of a move, new job, or just a new way of thinking is in your near future. Transformation might even involve a new stage of life. So yeah, you're going to be moving on to something new. And I feel like when this empress, emperor, empress comes in, they're going to change your life. Okay. But that, like I say, the king of pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. This person wants to marry you. The same card is coming out with the ten of cups. Okay. But like I say, this person, like I say, they're very grounded. Like I say. Uh, they don't say a whole lot, but I feel like they're really into, you know, their money that this person is very powerful. People admire them. They have, uh, they really good with their money. Very successful. They could have their own business. Okay. But yeah, this person wants to build an empire with you. This person is very stable. Okay. You're going to be recognizing your opportunities. And for some of you, this person is going to uplift you, okay? They're going to help you when it comes to, you know, those things that you may be feeling like you're blocked from. But we have Watchtower of the South. This person could live the, at the South, from the South of you. You may be wanting to move from the South of your state or uh, in the U.S. or wherever you are in your country, whatever. You may want to move towards the south but something about the south is significant something about summer as well you could be building a home or moving into a new home okay in the summertime but someone from the south could be watching you like i said i feel like this person lives at a distance for some of you live at a distance from you and we have winter, okay? So winter and summer, this could be this person's birthday or your birth, uh, well, of course, this is Aries. So Aries is not summer, but you could have uh, Gemini, Cancer, and uh, Leo in your chart. Also Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius as well. I already said that. But for some of you, you could be building a home in the winter. You may be wanting to move north as well, or this person could be north of you. Just take it, have resonates. Okay, you may be wanting to travel up north during the winter time. There is some kind of good news coming towards you during the winter time. This person could show up. But let's go ahead and clarify and read these cards, okay? 
Because sometimes I just go by my own intuition when it comes to these Watchtower cards. So Watchtower, Watchtower Summer, okay? An old flame returns. Romance is rekindled. New passion is breathed into a relationship. You are seeing the fruits of your labor. Your hard work has paid off. Enjoy the rewards. You have attracted the energy of abundance. Okay. Calling upon the guardians of gatekeepers of the South. The seasons of summer brings you love as it works in conjunction with the element of fire. By visiting the Watchtower of the South, you are being assisted in awakening your Kundalini energy through lust, attraction, and desire. Okay. Strength and power fuse the motivating life force energy that ignites your inner flame. The sound will accompany you as you walk your path in vitality and vigor. Connect with the mother aspect of the triple goddess and the father God who brings everything you've worked hard for. Your work is done. Time to have fun and enjoy the abundance that summer bestows upon you. In accordance with your magical workings at the time of noon summer breaths renewed passion into your association with the card that flanks this one okay so uh-huh so but i still feel like some of you are going to be moving okay or uh traveling somewhere maybe towards the south it could be around summertime and some of you this person is going to be coming in around summer but we also have winter okay so you're going through a dark night of the soul surrender and release persist the rewards will be life-changing you are a meta metamorphosing rest and rejuvenate the ancestors are connecting with you what we just said earlier invoke your dark side with harm to none okay but calling upon the guardians and the gatekeepers of the north this season of winter brings you is give steep into magic and mystery as it works in conjunction with the element of earth by visiting the watchtowers of the north, you are being called to go deep within to rest and recharge whilst earth nurtures and restores you. The north will assist you with all aspects of home, life, security, and the nurturing that you require. Connect with the crone aspect of the triple goddess as you journey with the god. An elder form inwards and face that which you have ignored for too long. Allow winter to freeze out any unwanted behaviors, situations, or addictions you have been holding on to, stripping you bare with the dark chambers of winter's tomb. The color black represents the element of earth and should be used in accordance with your magical workings. At the time of midnight, winter shares its wisdom in association with the card that flanks this one, okay? Okay, but like I say, intu intuitively, there is something about winter that's definitely significant as well. You could be, uh, you know, getting married, a proposal coming in. This person could be coming back around winter time. Some of you may live in the South or from the South or North, of course. Of course, there's more than one type of Aries that's watching, but... Mm hmm. So we have cleansing. OK, some of you need to take a spiritual bath and we also have security. OK, you're definitely protected. But, you know, uh, I feel like you, you know, work on your getting your securities and stuff like that, watching your surroundings. And we have shadow. You're definitely working on your shadow self. OK. I'm getting for some of you, you know, getting around water may be very helpful. It may really clear your mind, especially if, you know, maybe feeling a whole lot of anxiety or something like that. All right. So cleansing water. All right. Some of you may be feeling dehydrated. And you need to drink some water as well, but you are empathetic. Your sensitivity is a gift. Protect it well. You are experiencing new psychic awareness. Vivid dreams are linked with emotion to be kept in check. Drink more water. Spend time by the sea. Stop trying to go against the natural flow. Okay, the element of water has surfaced to help you clean up your act. You have been affected by negative thoughts, 
doubts and worries. Allow, <laughs> ooh, we just talked about that. Allow cleansing to wash away any pollution that you are drowning in and release the emotion that is draining your natural vitality and positive outlook. Water seeks out your sensitive and asks you to tap into your feelings for you have often become overwhelmed with faced with challenges, situations, or other demands. Be aware of the difference between emotions and those of others. Water can soothe, heal, and help you to go on with the flow. Water reminds you to bless this elixir of life. Before you bathe or drink of it and to acknowledge your connection to the ebb and flow of the tides and uh, the pull of the moon. Water offers you offers you to dive and uncover your natural psychic, psychic abilities and to enhance prophetic dreams that are ready to emerge. The devil is alive. We're going to get it out today, okay? All right. Let others, instead of shutting them out, let, let them in, okay? You are protected, supported, and safe. Trust in the divine outcome. Recognize your strengths and your talents. A new home awaits you. Rediscover your likes and dislikes. Don't try too hard to fit in. Insecurities and lack of self-confidence have a habit of manifesting. Feeling like an outsider makes it difficult to be positive to fit in. So right now, instead of being on the outside looking in, you have been given the key to let yourself in, okay? For a while where you will find all you need to become strong enough to deal with everything that has hurled you. Explore every room and discover what it is that you feel you're good at and what you feel most comfortable with. You may find that it is the kitchen filled with herbs and plants to make medicinal recipes. Or perhaps it is the welcome warmth in the hearth where, where you feel most at home. As you investigate, you will discover the right tools and meet friends and familiars along the way for you to choose from work with until you feel strong enough and ready to reemerge with security as your supporter into the bold and confident person you really are. So these cards are definitely a confirmation to the reading that I have just done, okay? Some of you may like cooking or you may like new recipes or you may be thinking of a new uh, uh, gosh, I can't even, can't even think uh, something new to make, something you've never cooked before. Okay. Love your body. All right. Love your body. Okay. Love the skin that you are in. Take care of yourself. All right. Don't let anyone make you feel like you're not good enough. Okay. Appreciate yourself. Appreciate what God has uh, created, but let your beauty radiate out. Okay. The number 1991 can be significant as well, also 10. So completion, okay? Personal power, protection, wholeness, all right? And I went right to it. <laughs> Love your body. All right. So you are divinely gifted with sensual sensitivity. Divine feminine energy flows in you. Let that energy be expressed and felt with delight. You are divine beauty. Your body is a miracle of creation. Take care of your beautiful body. It is a miracle of creation. There has never been a body like yours, honey. Hmm, 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 hmm. Ow! I love it. No other human has a body that has seen, felt, touched, tasted, or heard in quite the same way as yours. Let that sink in. Let that sink in, okay? 
This card is here today because it is time for you to celebrate the miraculous gift that your that is your body, your own unique vessel for exploring the richness of the world. Develop a friendship with your body. Listen to it. Give it what it needs. Thank it for all it gives you. Water will be very good. But recognize and tune into the reality that your energetic body does not stop at your skin. Your subtle energy radiates hours into the world. Loving your body is the best gift that you could ever give to yourself. Okay? Love yourself and everyone around you. But uh, let your sense of hearing be indulged by an evening of listening to your favorite music. Dim the lights. Uh, make yourself really comfortable and let the music fill your being. Take yourself out into nature to treat yourself, your sense of vision. Okay? So, you know, just, you know, like I say, take care of yourself, you know, uh, take care of your mentality, get out into nature, meet other people, get out the house. For some of you don't really get out the house as much and you really need to. Okay. But like I say, there's a connection coming in and let's clarify one more thing regarding this person. Okay. Yeah. This person wants to invest in you with the page of pentacles. This person has really good money. Okay. They're very consistent when it comes to their money. You'd be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, they're very affectionate, very romantic. This person could be someone who likes to cook. I know a, a Cancer uh, that's uh, really good at, at cooking and they date an Aries. Okay, but new beginnings. Okay, good news. This person is going to come towards you with good news, but this person might have just received some money, okay? There's going to be create a spark and passion with this person, okay? And we also have the Knight of Cups as well. So this person wants to come in and offer you their love. There's going to be a romantic proposal, okay? Some of you are going to be getting married, okay? I'm getting winter and summer, but you're going to be following your heart. This person's going to follow their heart when it comes towards you, okay? That is all that I have, Aries. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Again, I am Tosh with Unstoppable. Please like, subscribe. Don't forget to share because that helps my channel grow. Thank you in advance. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here, okay? Peace.